video on the introduction to Arduino. My name is Afik Ile and I will be your host for this series of videos. If you have not seen the first two videos, please click on the videos on your screen and you can catch up to the work that we have done so far. In today's video, we are going to add uh, two LEDs and two resistors. And we spoke about that in the previous video, which I encourage you to go and watch. I want you to pause this video and I want you to select two LEDs and two resistors. I suppose then you have selected that. Now that you have two LEDs and two resistors, we are going to connect the LEDs one at a time. So you may pause the video and try and connect your LED to your breadboard. Well, well done. Now you've connected your LED to your breadboard. We are now going to connect you, our resistor to our breadboard. We want to turn it to its side. We say that we are going we, we connect we will connect it to our positive rail. The positive is the one that is bent and the negative is the one that is straight. So we have connected that. Then the next thing is to then connect our negative to the negative of our breadboard. And we said that we want it to be black. And uh, well, let's just tidy it up. We can just tidy it up. Okay. The next thing is to connect a jumper cable that will come out from this resistor. So it is coming from this resistor here and it will connect to pin number 12 on our Arduino. And we just want to tidy this jumper cable up and then we can continue. We can then also change the color of our our uh, LED. Then finally we want to also connect our third LED. We also want to make it horizontal, sorry, and we then connect it to our circuit as well. So I want you now to connect a third jumper cable to pin number 11 on the Arduino and also connect the negative pole to our breadboard. So pause the video and do that step. Well done. So now we are going to then connect our negative to our negative in the breadboard and let's tidy it up. And we are going to take another jumper cable and we'll connect it in pin number 11 on our Arduino and we tidy it up also. Sorry. To do that, you just double click. Okay. That is our sketch and we want to change this and make it to green. Now, the final thing is to change the values and it's going to make it 320 ohms. Why we are making 320 ohms is for another video. We are not going to discuss that for now, but uh, you may just make it 320 ohms for the resistance. And finally then, we want to then add the code for our our sketch okay so we come to code and you will see that the code that has been given to us is for our red led so what i want us to do i want us to change the code a bit then i will add the code for the other leds and we'll restart and i'll explain what is happening All right, so 
now we have our code done what we've done here is that we are saying the pin mode is 13 and it's an output and what that basically means is that this pin we are going to use this pin we are going to put it in a state of an output uh, you will remember from the other video we said that a pin the digital pin can either be an input which gives information to the Arduino it, or it can be an output uh, it can give information to a device that is connected to the Arduino so we are going to use this as an output and pin 12 you also are an output pin 11 you also are an output so all of these three pins are going to communicate to our LEDs and they will tell our LEDs what to do so this is where we are preparing our pin our, we are telling our pins how they are going to behave so void loop is where our code is going to be done or executed so it is just going to happen all the time it's going to repeat over and over again so we have here for instance this code is all for pin number 13 which is the red one this one is for pin number 12 which is the yellow one and this one is all for the pin uh, number 11 which is the green one which is the green one okay so now we are saying digital right pin 13 high so what digital right is 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 it's basically a, a function that we use to write a value or to write high or low to our pin uh, the high or low means on or off it's an it's a state of on or off so when we say digital right we are then writing to our pin uh, to pin 13 that it must turn high or it must turn the led on and then we are saying delay by half a second and then digital right put 13 pin 13 off and we will see how it's going to happen so it continues it does so it, sw it switches it on it switches it off it switches the the second one on and that one is off already and then it switches it off again and then it switches this one on it switches it off and then it goes and restarts the process so i'm going to start simulation now and see how it behaves so you'll see now it starts it starts so each of them they they switch on for for half a second they switch off switch on for half a second and switch off and so that is how we turn our leds on and off what i want you to try and do is to change the times that we have used here so if you want to change the times uh, you can stop the simulations change the times and use different times for for our leds and see how that if how that impacts uh, the the flashing times of your LEDs and if you if you want to explore I would then ask you to also uh, put additional LEDs on the breadboard and connect those and make it work so if you have done that please share your experience in the comment section below and tell me how that worked and um, that is the end of the video ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for listening once again i trust that you have learned uh, something we added today two extra leds to our circuit and we added two extra resistors and i showed you how to code uh, this circuit so that it switches our leds on and off you can see we have a red LED that is flashing. We have a resistor. We have two jumper cables, one negative coming from the Arduino into the breadboard. And we have one that is powering the uh, LED, which is uh, coming from pin number 13 from our Arduino. And so up until the next video, Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And if you would like to be uh, told when there's new videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.